Hi, my name is Andrew Towers, and this is part two of Gmail and its related services. Today we are focusing on those related services. There are several of them, and so we are going to cover most, most of them, but not all of them. But these are what I consider to be the most important. Last video we covered Gmail. Gmail is probably the most popular of Google services, and seeing as we've already covered it, let's look at Google Drive. Okay, so Google Drive is Google's free online alternative to Microsoft Office. Once you save something into Drive, it will be accessible from any device in the world that you sign into with your Google account. This makes Drive a nice alternative to Office when you're out and about, or even at home. Instead of using desktop applications like Microsoft's, it has its own version of Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. These are Docs, Slides, and Sheets, and they're built into your web browser. I'll go through Docs in more brief detail, but if you've used Office products before, you'll immediately be familiar with at least the basic functions of Google's and Drive's versions of these products. I use Drive every day, primarily because the file structure that you can build it is so intuitive. You can, you can create folders, label them by name and color, and share those folders with others. Which brings me nicely to sharing. Sharing is one of the best features of Google Drive. If you want to work collaboratively with someone else or multiple other people, you can do that easily with Google Drive. You can actually edit documents, presentations, and spreadsheets at the same time as other people and see their changes and your changes right there on your screen. I will demo this a little later on. Beyond the three most obvious programs, Docs, Slides, and Sheets, you can make online forms and quizzes with Google Forms right here. You can make uh, something with Google Drawings, not sure what the real world application of Drawings is, and you can make actual full-on websites with Google Sites, which is right here. I can vouch from personal experience that forms and sites are both pretty good options for what they do. Again, no real idea as to what the point of Drawings is, like I've used it before, it's fine, but it doesn't compare to other desktop alternatives or even Microsoft Paint. But Drawings aside, Drawings doesn't just have, have to be a good place for docs, slides, and sheets and you can actually upload and view stuff from Microsoft Office. Word, for example, can be converted into docs, edited, and then converted back into Word. This would be useful if you were going on a trip and wanted to work on some documents but didn't want to carry around a flash drive or a laptop with a copy of the file. But that's enough on the concept of Drive. How does it actually work? What's it actually look like? And how do you actually use it? Okay. We can open Drive by going to the nine dots next to the circular icon, this, uh, that the, of the account that we're using. So I'm gonna click that, and now you scroll until you see Drive. On here, it's the 10th option. Sometimes it's the second. It really is just all over the place. But currently, on this one, it's right here. It's this triangle icon, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. Okay, if you've watched the first video, you may notice the similarities of Drive to Gmail. And I'm going to point that out now. So as you can see, I mean, this is, this is what Gmail looks like. This is what Drive looks like. There's a search bar at the top. You know, you have the Compose button and then the New button. You have your organizational structure and your organizational structure. You have the calendar along the side. You have the calendar along the side. You know, you have... Uh, support support there's uh, you know uh, support with settings by the way that's why i meant um but they look very very similar you know there's there's a lot of similarities but i'm going to go back i'm going to stick with drive now i hope that didn't cause anybody any uh, that freak anybody out flip flip me back and forth like that but basically everything is it's it's if you use one google service you'll be able to figure out the other ones pretty easily because they 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 all kind of look a little bit the same okay okay so let's move on to creating a new document so creating a new, do a new document is pretty easy you just click the new button so let's say i wanted to create one right when i create it in here i'm going to name it test document so this is where you name it by the way just to name it you click up here test document right so now it's saved to drive. It says save to drive. And if I refresh over here, there it is. And it shows in quick access, it's there. And in files, it's here. So let's say perhaps I didn't want it just to be in the main drive. I want it to be in folder one. And it's as simple as I click it, I drag it. I'm not double clicking, but I'm just clicking once. And I drag it, 
I drop it. And boom, tells you test document has been moved to, uh, from my drive to folder one. Let me jump in here. It's right there. And let's say maybe I want to create a new folder within, you know, uh, folder one. I can go ahead and do that and I can drop test document in there. And so now I can scroll out here and you can see I have two folders. They're both back to back. I can change the color of this one and a lot of stuff with this. Again, I getting a little off topic, but, but the, maybe I want to share this with someone too. I can, I can do that. So there's, I go ahead and hit share, right? And now I can share it. It's pretty cool. Okay. But, you know, if we go back to docs itself, this is a very standard, uh, word editor. It's completely free. It's online. And so I can just access this from my, you know, um, from my computer or from any computer, I can access this from a phone, I can access it from a tablet, but I have to be signed into my account to be able to, you know, access it. Um, and you know, nobody else is going to be be able to get to this unless they have my password. So again, reason to keep the, you know, password safe because you don't necessarily want random people, you know, with access to all your files, but you can, but it is pretty safe. So even though it's in the cloud and it's out there in the middle of, you know, uh, server, silver, server realm, you know, but you're still going to be, you're still going to be just fine. It's not going to be in any danger of hackers, if that's a fear. Um, you know, it has all the normal controls for, uh, a word editor. You know, you can change the, change the alignment. You can, uh, you know, check how many, how many words you have so far. Currently I have zero. Um, but if I had more than it would show, um, but the, the, one of the nice things is I can go ahead and hit file and I can hit download and I can download this at, well, blank document currently, but as any of these, so I can make, like, if I really wanted to, I could copy in a, you know, a, um, a word document, right. From, from anywhere I can drop it in here, you know, I upload file, right. Uh, it's not gonna be able to show it here, but, but I can upload a file. I can upload a word document into this. Then I could convert that word document into a PDF, let's say, or maybe I want it to just be a text file or really anything. It's, it's very, very useful. Uh, there's a lot of functionality here. Um, but the really, really cool thing, and this is the part that I love is the share, uh, the share feature. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, access this with. So I'm going to like create, you can create a link. So you can see down here, change, change to anyone with the link, right? So now anyone on the internet is going to be able to view this. I'm going to make it editor, All right? So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to go over to my other monitor, open this up. And as you can see, now I am editing. Kind of hard to see on a different account. And I can go ahead and change the font size. So you can see that better. But look at that. It's right there. And I'm not even like I can type in from my original account. You can see it's two different people. Which is really, really cool. So they're we're both editing on this document at the same time. I mean, that's what's really awesome about this. Is you know it it is just, it's just instantaneous. As you can see, I mean, you could hear my keyboard typing. Maybe I'm not sure. Actually, I have, I have noise suppression on, so you might not be able to hear it, but I'm typing. It's immediately showing up on my screen. And then it's immediately showing up on the other, uh, other users screen, which is just phenomenal. Okay. But that's about it for, uh, for, uh, docs. You know, it pretty much, I'm not going to cover the other, um, like slides or sheets because those are very, very similar. I mean, like you, I'll look at this. It's, it's basically, it functions in much the same way as, you know, uh, as Excel. Like if you use, if you've used Excel before, this has functions, you know, you can, you can put functions in here. Uh, it allows you to, 
create uh, charts from you know from your data it it allows you to do all the same things you can create new sheets down here you know along the bottom it's it's in many ways it's the same thing right so i don't think it's worth covering uh if you have if you've used uh office products before then you know how to use this if you haven't uh, it's pretty easy to learn like here's here's slides for example uh, you know you it's literally you just you know i want to add the title i'm gonna name this with a you know not very original but here's title you know maybe i want to move it around i can do that move it up here and it's moved and i'll shrink it you know and it shrink you know it, it shrunk um right it's very very easy very very easy to use um you can i can put in transitions you can um change the background right you know i can make it make it a solid color if i want to that that's kind of horrible you can't actually see it but you know it it works oh, that's unfortunate um but it, it works the way you'd expect it to right same with forms you know this is this is this is slightly different uh, you might, I don't think, uh, office has a, you know, something that compares to this. They might, I'm not totally familiar with my, I'm not a you know consistent office user, but, but this is, it's a pretty useful thing. You can create questions, you can create, um, uh, forms, and then you can tally the responses, have them upload into a spreadsheet, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So they'll, they'll upload into the spreadsheet and then you can graph out, um, what, like, like, let's say you're making a test. You can graph out like what percentage of people, you know, chose this certain option. It's, it's a lot of cool stuff with forms. Um, you know, go through say sites. So, you know, you want to create your own website. There it is. You know, you can, you can drop in an image. I'm gonna, uh, I don't, I don't have an image in, in mind, but let's search, you know, penguin. We want to make a website about penguins and boom, this is the image I want to use insert. And there you go. There it is. And you're allowed, you're able to move it all around your, your webpage. You can put it here, you know, you can scroll it down. It's, it's very, very intuitive. Um, it's, it's just stuff like this, you know, this, this is what makes drive a really nice service. And it's, it's entirely free. All of this is free. There's nothing to pay for. There's no like, you know, like hidden $40 a month fee. This is just, you sign up, you got a Google account, like I showed, you know, in the last video and boom, all of this is at your discretion. It's right there for you to use. It's really cool. Okay. So that's all I have for uh, Google docs. Now let's move on to uh, other services that Google provides. Google Photos is one of these services. You can save a lifetime of photos and videos with Google for, uh, Google Photos for free. If you already have a lot of you know photos on your computer, then you can go ahead and download. They have a utility, um, and I am trying to find where they where it is, but they they have an, a utility where you can. Uh, it's it's called um, Backup and Sync, right? So I, I, I could just look it up backup and sync and you can go ahead and download backup and sync, uh, from anywhere. Very useful. And, uh, it allows you to copy all of the photos from your computer onto the cloud where they're saved forever. So, you know, let's say your computer gets damaged in a house fire, you know, something goes wrong. Um, and you know, your photos are gone and you don't want that to be the case. Well, you can save them with backup and sync. They'll be, they'll be uploaded onto Google photos. You'll be able to view them from your phone, from your computer, from anywhere. You know, it's, it's really a pretty cool thing. You can share it with other people. Uh, and you, this is, this is the thing that I love the most. And I've actually used this before. Uh, and I've sent this to my, you know, we, we, we uploaded all our pictures into, um, Google photos. And so we made a, a photo book for my, for my grandparents, uh, that was a compilation and, and look at this. I mean, it, it's, you can make a hardcover book, like an actual physical book that is just photos that you've uploaded to the internet shipped to your door. It's pretty cool. And I mean, 
I, I sound like I'm, I, this sounds like an advertisement, but I, I'm serious. It's just such a great option. It's such a cool thing. Okay. Okay. One of the last things is Google Meet, right? So Google Meet is Google's alternative to Skype or Zoom. And I think it's actually better than Zoom. In many ways, it's a lot easier than Zoom. And I'll go ahead and show that now. So camera's starting. I'm going to dismiss that. And yeah, allow that. Allow. Block. Okay. But as you can see, you know, you have the a lot of the same options as Zoom. I can use background. I can set a background. You know, maybe I want cafe at night. Look at that. Behind me. It's a cafe. I'm in a cafe. Definitely not my house. You know, um, make it a beach. It's, it's Zoom. It's Zoom. It has all the same features as Zoom. But I'm going to ask to join. And I'll let myself in. Admit. And I'm going to turn my video off. Quick. But as you can see, it, it just works. It's the same thing. It's, it's, it's Zoom. You know, you, you have a few options down on the bottom. You know, you can uh, turn on microphone. You can uh, turn on the camera. You can turn on captions. And this is, this is the really cool one. I love captions. So I'm going to turn on the captions right now. And as you can see, it's translating what I'm saying right now. And you can see my mouth moving to to Google Meet. And so, you know, maybe it's kind of hard to hear what people are saying in the meeting. There you go. It's right here. It's literally being transcribed just by the by the computer. <laughs> As we speak, it's really cool. And it's, it's again, it's a completely free service. It's as easy as I, you know, load it up, go into it, boom, that's it. It's phenomenal. Um, and so, I mean, that's about it for Google Meet. But if you want to use this, I'd highly recommend it. It's really a, it's, it's a lot better than Zoom. It's a lot faster and easier to use. Uh, and so it's a good service. Now, the last one is Google. The, the last thing I'd like to cover is Google Maps. Google Maps is a very useful tool for trying courses for a road trip or maybe just finding where Walmart is. You know, maybe I want to know where Walmart is. Um, so let's pray, say, for example, I forgot where Millray Center is. God, I mean, I, I know where it is, but if, for example, you know, I did forget, uh, I'll go ahead and Google it. You know, I, I, I go up here, you know, search Google Maps, Mill Race Center. And there it is. It's the first thing. I click on that and it zooms in. You can see what's near it, you know, uh, with diagrams of the buildings nearby. And there it is. It's right there. It shows the bus station, you know, the bus station out front. Um, it shows Millray Center. You know, there are images, useful images uh, of Millray Center. They, you know, you have a phone number. You have the, the link to the website, the hours. So you can see the hours. You can see when it's crowded uh, based on data they collect. Um, and you and you can even get, get directions, right? So let's say I don't actually live in Greenwood, but let's say I lived in Greenwood. You know, I want to know. What's the best route? It'll tell me. The fastest route right now is a crash on I-65, but the fastest route is still going to be I-65. So take I-65, it's going to take 35 minutes. You know, 65 to 31, right, to Indianapolis, and then there you are, Emory Center. Or they have an alternative route, which is 42 minutes and 30 miles, which is just take 31 straight to Indianapolis to Millray Center. And the best part is, let's say, you know, you, you, you don't want to, you, you can have this on your phone, but let's say you don't want this on your phone or you don't have a smartphone. So, and, and maybe you like, you know, to have paper maps, you know, you want to, you want to have a paper map. So I can go ahead and click, let's say this, I want to take 65. I want to take the 65 route uh, and I'll click details. Okay. And now you have this option. You can send it to your phone, first of all, but you can also print it and you can print it including the map which looks like this, um, and it will show you, this is what it's going to print. So it's going to print the map itself. And then it's also going to print, uh, you know, each it's going to show you, uh, when to merge on, when to get off, which exit specifically 76 a, uh, you know, it tells you to merge, you know, it tells you all the, all of the, uh, all of the steps, right. In this process, it's really, it's really great. Or you could just say, maybe I don't want the, the map, the, uh, map and I just want the text, you can do that. It's really, 
if, if you remember MapQuest, if you ever used that, this is basically what it is, but it's like, that's just one little feature, you know, within this whole experience. And overall, again, another great Google service. That's all I have for you today. Hopefully this was a helpful introduction to the Google ecosystem of products and services. Thanks for watching.